So a lot of people want to get into investing or day trading, but they don't know where to begin. And in my opinion, the best way to get started is by learning to read market trends so you can reliably make simple trades and start making money right away. So the first thing you need to know about the stock market is, of course, the two directions a stock price can go, which is up or down. And if you think a stock is going up, we'd say that you're bullish. And if you think a stock is going down, we'd say that you're bearish. So with that terminology, to start with the easy trading patterns that you probably recognize from your stereotypical stock chart, we have what's called a rising wedge, a bullish pattern where the value steadily climbs as the trading range narrows, which of course means you should invest. And the reverse of that is called a falling wedge, which is a bearish pattern, and of course means you should be selling or shorting the stock. And shorting simply means borrowing the stock from a broker to sell at the current price and covering it later at hopefully a lower price. Now, these are the two most fundamental patterns, and by combining them together, you can get pretty much every other pattern. For example, you'll often see a rising and then falling wedge in sequence, which creates a triangular shape, or what traders call the isosceles buffet. And while this doesn't mean too much all alone, if you see two adjacent isosceles buffets with a big buffet in the middle, we have what's called a war in range. And what you want to be doing here is trading on the neckline right where the Berkshire breaks. So you're going to want to measure the distance between the hairline and the neckline and enter short where the neckline meets the descending slope with an equal point target while placing the stop loss just above the point of highest resistance to the right of the Warren range. Should just be easy money, really. Okay, so moving on, if we step back and you see a pattern of two or more Warren ranges in sequence, all trending towards a higher peak, we call this a bullish bill which is really where the big money comes from. So if you see this pattern, it means that right away you should alt tab, close your 24 tables of limit hold'em, and start dumping money into tech call options like your child's future doesn't depend on it. On the flip side, if you see a pattern of two or more worn ranges continually trending towards a lower and lower trough, this is what we call cryptocurrency. So now that you know the basic trading patterns, you're ready to get investing, and you don't need any special equipment besides a computer. However, if you do decide you want to take this seriously, I would recommend getting some additional monitors. Most traders like to have at least four screens running simultaneously, which allows you to lose money on up to four trades at once. This is called getting four stocked. So with that said, you have to remember that your portfolio can only drop in value by 100%, while it can go up by way more than that which is why it's important to consider how to manage your money in the event you accidentally make a return on your investment of 10, 100, or 1,000 times your initial buy-in. So you have to ask yourself, in the event you massively increase the value of your portfolio in a short amount of time, what's your strategy gonna to be to reinvest that money? And there's actually a few different options you have that I'll go through with their different pros and cons. So the biggest advantage of the Amaryllis is definitely the dining space and fumed oak trim. Although you could definitely argue the sauna is a bit lacking. While on the other hand, the Octasia is also a good choice because it comes with several jet skis and an array of tenders, which are highly coveted in the trading world. But unfortunately, they've omitted the stripper poles for this year's charter model once again. But either way, you can't really go wrong. And if you're really not sure, doesn't hurt to go for both. <music>